Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. We're thankful that you've joined us. Let's pray together as we come to God's Word. Father, we thank you for the day you've given. And Lord, our prayer today is that you would help us to, to see you clearly, to understand uh, our response, what our response ought to be. Lord, when, when difficulty comes, when hardship arises, Lord, there should only be one option, and that's, and that's you. And so, Lord, we love you. We ask that you'd speak to us as we come to the Word of God today, that you'd minister to our hearts and help us live godly. Father, we ask that you would send revival. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. We're glad you're here. Let's go ahead and open our Bibles uh, and turn to 2 Chronicles uh, chapter number 20. 2 Chronicles chapter 20, we find here... Uh, Again, we're in the life of Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, and uh, he, he has a problem. The Bible says in, in verse 1, it came to pass after uh, this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon, and with them other beside the Ammonites, came against Jehoshaphat to battle. It says, Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on this side Syria, and behold, uh, they be in uh, Hazion, uh, Tamar, which is in Gedi. And the Bible says in verse 3, Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. I want you to mark that statement in verse 3 that, that uh, he feared and Jehoshaphat feared and notice and set himself to seek the Lord. You and I, we need to set ourselves uh, to seek the Lord. And the Bible says in verse 4, And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord, even out of all the ch cities of Judah, notice they came to seek the Lord. Uh, it's time uh, to seek the Lord. For too long, for too often, I believe that uh, that we we we've, we've come to rely upon ourselves. We we have so much. We live uh, in a land of of abundance. We uh, we have many resources, uh, many tools at our disposal, uh, and uh, we factor God out of so many things. But here we have Jehoshaphat, who was who was a good king. Uh, he loved the Lord. He followed the Lord. Uh, he was not a perfect man. He, he made the decision, even at the end of this chapter, we re, you could read some of that, how he had joined himself with Ahaziah, the wicked king of Israel. However, there comes a point in our lives when we must determine who we will seek after and upon whom we will rely. And we look here, and of course, all of Israel came, and they, they, they set themselves to seek the Lord because they realized that God alone could meet the need that they had. They understood that only God could deliver. And the Bible says in verse number 13, after, after they, they come, they stand before the Lord, they, they, uh, they remind God of His promise. For instance, in verse 9, it says, If when evil come, uh, cometh upon us, as the sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house, and in thy presence, for thy name is in this house, and cry unto thee in our affliction, then thou wilt hear and help. They, they relied upon the promises of God and his word. And so uh, what they had done is they gathered themselves together. And I think this is something that we need to do early uh, in our lives, early in our homes. The Bible says in verse 13, it says, And all Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives, and their children. Why, why do people fail uh, to seek the Lord during times of hardship? I believe so often it's because we, when we were young, our parents never taught us to seek the Lord in times of hardship. As Christian people, as Christian parents, mo moms and dads, it's essential uh, that we, uh, at early on in their lives, teach our children to seek the Lord. Of course, Jehoshaphat, the, the nation of Judah, they, they understood full well that, that trouble was brewing. Uh, Ammon, uh, Moab, uh, Mount Seir, or who is Edom, uh, from the line of Esau, they had all come to seek after Israel and to, and to destroy them. And there was trouble. We're living in a, in a climate of trouble, in a, in a social climate of trouble, in a political climate of, of trouble in an economic climate of trouble. Now, we don't want our children to worry, but we do need our children. We, it is po important that we teach and train our children to seek the Lord. And that's exactly what they did in verse 13. You see, the king set himself, all the people set themselves, and they trained their children to seek the Lord. 
And what happened? Well, God delivered. The Bible says in verse 15, says, The battle is not yours, but God's. And God came, and God thwarted uh, those uh, the great host that came against them, and he wrought victory. But what, it was, what a great victory it was for those children, those little ones. Everything that they had prayed for, everything that they had sought God for, God heard, God answered. Imagine what that would do to our children. Uh, bolster their faith. Bolster, bolster, uh, bolster their trust in God. Is there not a cause? May, may God help us today. Teach our children to seek the Lord. Father in heaven, we love you. And Lord, life is difficult. It's hard. It's overwhelming. But Lord, our prayer is that uh, even in the midst of hardship, you bring deliverance. And Lord, that you would help us understand our need to set ourselves to seek after thee but lord that we would include our children and those that depend upon us in this matter that we would teach them not to not depend so much upon us but depend wholly and completely upon thee and so lord we ask that you'd help us learn from this example here today and lord that we would trust in you and that you provide and work and move and give great victory and we ask it in jesus name amen well, thank you for joining us. As always, it's an honor to have you. We're praying for you. And we look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow at noon. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.